folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com. Today I'm pretty excited to be able to share with you a new product that I got from Zero Water. It's a Zero Water filtration system, purification system, um, whatever it's called. It's a 30 cup pitcher size and I also got an extra filter to go with it. And one of the main reasons that I decided to get one of these is because a few years ago um, in our town, we had letters come to us saying that our water was high in trihalomethanes, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I was very concerned and stopped using tap water. So everything was bottled water, bottled water. And not only is that bad for our environment, but we have to recycle it and it is an expense. So I finally decided to put an end to the madness. And um, since we're big coffee drinkers, we were going through several bottles of water a day and that's crazy and that's aside from what everybody in the house is grabbing to drink so I'm pretty excited to be able to review this and again it's a 30 cup 7.1 liter carafe and I'm going to be unboxing it so you can see what it looks like if you decide to get one too and then it's got um, a measuring device in there so I'm going to measure my water before and after and just let you see if this thing really works if it's worth getting and if it is, I'm going to be super stoked because that's going to mean less plastic use in my home and less expense on the bottled water. So I'm going to unbox it for you real quickly first and then I'm going to put it to use. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I have some water from my tap and I'm going to be testing it first. Now they give you this meter and this meter is going to allow me to see what, you know, mineral deposits and whatever it tests for, I'm not exactly sure. And, you know, I guess impurities is in my tap water. So um, you have to make sure that you hit the on and off button right at the top. There's an on off button right there and um, it's on right now. And then there's a hold button underneath it because if you don't hit the hold button, it will not retain the number and then you won't know, like you'll have to leave it in the water to see it. But anyway, let's get started. So let's put that in our water you have to pull that cap off the bottom and remember this is not waterproof so you don't want to submerge the entire thing in the water just an inch or two at the bottom so right now it looks like it's steadying so we're going to hit the hold button okay now take it out of the water and let's see what we have okay so my water is reading a 78 and um, I guess that's considered a little bit high. So what I'm going to do now is test, test it, test my tap water with the zero water. So I have my zero water set up and it was very easy to do. And it literally is just a filter. And all it is is a filter that you screw in right to the bottom and it's as easy as that so um, once you get that set up you're going to put the lid back on and you want to make sure that your lid is right where the filter is because what you need to do is pour your water in there right so that makes sense so setting it up easy peasy as could be so now I'm going to be pouring in some of my tap water one other quick note when you get the instructions there's a little chart down here and it lets you know like what the um, substances are 
and it gives you a chart that breaks down your lead, your chromium, your mercury. So make sure that you check that chart because it also tells you the maximum permissible, permissible and like the maximum effluent concentration levels and so on. So read the instructions because they also just give you a quick guide, um, you know, on how the meter works. It's just so easy, but just for clarification, if you have any questions, refer to this chart. It's really, it's really handy. And um, I like the fact that it gives you actual levels and percentages of what's acceptable, how much chlorine's in your water and so on. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is pouring my water in, and since that's boring, I'm gonna speed up the process. Now, I wanted to show you a close-up of just how slowly um, this is filtering the water. So don't expect this to be done in a hurry. It's going to take a little bit of time because it's really filtering out all of the impurities in the water. So um, it's dripping, you know, slowly but we're getting there and the reservoir up at top it also holds a back portion as well the water so um, it, it does holds a pretty substantial amount of water but it's it's going to take a few minutes to get the process done and I just wanted to give you a quick heads up about that there's an interesting fact on the chart that they give you that's noteworthy um, and to take a look at it shows you by state the amount of allowable contamination per state. So definitely check out your state. Um, and like I said, make sure that you read the brochure because it really does give you uh, a good in-depth analysis. It gives you some coupons as well. Um, and there's also uh, good information on how long your filter will last. Now, if you go on YouTube, you can find um, some videos that show you filter hacks, how you can get extra life from your zero water filter. Um, I'm not really interested in doing that because it seemed like a little bit of an arduous process, but for those folks that are looking to save um, on their filter, you can definitely research that and check out some of those hacks to save on your filter. I just got an extra filter for mine, but um, there is information about how long your filter will last too, so make sure that you read that. I thought it would be interesting to take some measurements of the spring water that I use every day, and I'm paying for this bottled water, so it looks like it's steadying at a nine. So as much as we think our bottled water is free of impurities, it's registering at a nine. And that's pretty interesting. So I'm excited to see what my zero water is going to come in at. And um, it's making pretty good progress. It's filtering through. Like I said, it's taking a little bit of time, but getting there. Okay, so all of our water has filtered through the filter, through the zero water filter, and now we're going to test the water and see if it actually comes out to be a zero. And as I showed you before, I was shocked that the bottled water um, actually was, was registering at a nine, so it's not completely free of impurities. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is measure our filtered water. We have it on ready to go okay so we're gonna leave it in there for a few seconds and so far it's staying on a zero so if we could push the hold button and as you can see the meter registered a zero and I left it in there for a few seconds to make sure and this water is definitely free of all impurities, all chemicals, and I'm super excited about that. So, um, yeah, I'm really thrilled to be able to use this every day, and now I don't have to buy bottled water. I can just rely on my zero water every day, and I can make coffee with it, and I can use it, fill up a, a little thermos, and take it with me wherever I need to go, and I'm going to be saving a bundle 
on purchasing bottled water. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Be, uh, be sure to visit the blog post too because I'm going to have a lot more detailed information about the unit. Um, I'll provide the size of it and so on and you know just give you more specs on it in the blog post so be sure to head on over there I'll put the link in the description and if you can subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video I would greatly appreciate it I'm growing my channel and every subscriber means so very much to me so thank you so much again and have yourself a great and safe day.